Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying out two new products from Hourglass. They came out with some new veil products. They extended their line and the two things that I got were the veil translucent setting powder as well as the retouching fluid. This is the container for the powder, which is actually really nice packaging. And then the Hourglass retouching fluid. So to start off, just so you know, I already applied my primer. I'm going to do the same routine that I do all the time before applying any concealer or any setting powder. So the first thing that I did was applied my Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. And then right after that, I applied my foundation, which is the Fenty Beauty in the color 210. So those are the only two products that I have all over my face. And now I'm gonna get into the retouching fluid. So this one is not, um, it's not titled or it's not, what's another word? There's a bird. What is the word? There's a word for it, I just can't think of the word, but it's not... Okay, it doesn't matter, I don't know the word that I'm trying to think of, if I remember. I'll put it right here. You know the word that I'm talking about, maybe. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna read it to you because it only makes sense like this, because it's not a concealer, and I can't just say, hey, I'm gonna try this concealer, because then it wouldn't make any sense, and I would be wrong, I would be giving you the wrong information. So it does say, a sheer, weightless, oil-free fluid that cancels out dullness, illuminates any darkness and retouches fading makeup without caking or creasing so it seems like it would be a product that you would use throughout the day which to me is really like a no it wouldn't work for that for me because once i set my foundation and my concealer i don't really think about applying another liquid on top of it but you know everybody's different and i'm reading it off of the sephora website just so you know so it says meet your concealer's new best friend Veil Retouching Fluid is a multitasking complexion enhancer that you won't want to leave your house without. Okay, blah, blah, blah. The weightless oil-free fluid adds just the right amount of brightness, coverage, and hydration that your skin needs during the day. It's like your morning cup of coffee. Okay, whatever, whatever. Uh, Veil Retouching Fluid gives you brightness without the shimmer, coverage without the creasing, and hydration without the oil. Its weightless formula contains skin-nourishing ingredients like hyaluronic acid, plant water extract, and grapefruit extract. So, then how to use it. Apply anywhere on the face for illumination, light hydration, and sheer coverage to perfect and refresh the complexion. For best results, apply... Just kidding. Gently pat into the skin with fingers. I wanted to read it to you because I don't want to just say, oh, it's a concealer because it looks like one. I want to tell you exactly what the product claims to be. Claims. I think that's the word I was looking for earlier. Claims to be a concealer. Okay, so regardless of what it says, I am going to be using it as a concealer just to try it that way because honestly, I think a lot of people would just think it's a concealer. And since it is for illuminating, we're gonna try it as a concealer and then it's also for dull skin and stuff like that so what is the main reason people apply concealers it's to brighten up their face on the brightening areas so this is the way that it looks it looks looks like a concealer um this is the applicator right here it's a nice bottle it's like that same i don't think it's glass it's like plastic but it's that matte plastic and i know it does say for best results apply gently with your finger like patting it in so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this underneath my eyes so it feels really thin it doesn't feel thick at all it feels pretty liquidy too it doesn't feel thick or like pasty or anything so there you go you can see like where i go over it again you can see where the line is um that's how thin it is it's not really thick and i'm gonna do this uh let me see should i do the same thing over here not yet okay not yet so i'm gonna apply just a tiny bit more i'm also gonna apply a little bit around my nose there and then where else can I apply this? I think those two spots, man, let me just apply it right here. Sure. I'm gonna pat it on with my finger. So it's easy to blend. It looks kind of light, by the way. I have it in the color neutral. They only have five shades, and I felt like this one would be more like my skin tone color. Okay, so there it is, pat it in. It actually blended out really good. Let me zoom you in. It is easy to blend. It's not super tacky. It's it's pretty just easy to blend. It's not thick to where you can't blend it out with your finger. Um, it doesn't look streaky. It's not covering up a lot, but like I said, it's not a concealer. So I mean, and it does say that it is a sheer coverage. So I was expecting I was expecting that pretty much. Um, in the foundation for Fenty, I am in the color 210. So if you're anything close to my shade, the color neutral is a good concealer to get. It's not too light and it's not dark either. So it was a perfect match. So I'm applied on this side and this is the side that I'm going to use the beauty blender with. So you see how you can see right through it. It's not like a thick 
formula at all. And I'll apply it around my nose. And I think for now, that's it. Uh, I was gonna blend it out with my beauty blender. It kind of smells a little bit like uh, paint. You know how the Wet n Wild, if you've ever smelled the Wet n Wild foundation, it kind of smells like that. It's not that strong, but kind of. Okay, so it doesn't seem hard to blend out either with the Beauty Blender, but since the Beauty Blender is damp and it is a sponge, uh, it's going to be like a sheer coverage too. Like it's going to pick up some of the product or it's going to absorb some of the product, but it is blending out fine. So it's also not patchy at all. I actually like this side better. It looks like it gave me a little bit more coverage on this side. So since the retouching fluid is also for illuminating, I am going to apply it on my forehead just to brighten up my my forehead a little bit like the highlighting areas and let you see how that color you see the color it's like a good match for me it's not super light or anything so I'm just gonna blend it out with my beauty blender and on the beauty blender side I feel like I like it a little bit more let me know what you think from what you can see uh, which one looks better but I think the beauty blender side looks better okay so now I'm gonna apply the powder and the directions say to use the powder brush I don't have it I didn't get it um, it says pick up a small amount of powder and tap off the excess apply powder all over the face to set the makeup So it can be used for all over the face. I am gonna do this side like breaking the rules I'm not gonna like the way that I applied it. I applied it with a sponge So I'm gonna do baking on this side This is the side that I would normally how I probably will normally do my makeup and then this side I'm gonna use it as directed like I used my finger to blend it out So I'm gonna apply just a light amount of powder to my face Okay Oh, so not a lot of it came out. Barely putting the top on there. Okay, so now we have a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and set this eye with just a little bit of the powder. It is flying everywhere, so it is really, really thin, really fine. And I'm going to just set my under eye over here and around my nose. You can see a little bit of the concealer and on this side too. So maybe it's because it's so thin that it's not thick enough to like stick. I'm not sure. Okay, so that's that side. So on the other side, I'm going to use the Beauty Blender and apply it here, which actually looks looks nice. Really fine. Like I can see how fine the powder is using the Beauty Blender and it's it's on there like I'm baking, but it's really smooth. It looks really smooth on my forehead because this is how I would set my makeup. So I'm going to apply this on my forehead, just like that, and I'm going to bake my nose. I know it probably sounds weird, but I have been doing this a lot, and I feel like it works really good with my glasses. I'm just going to take, and, it's, <laughs> and it looks like an H. Look at it right there, because the thing is shaped like an H. So I'm going to just take some on this big brush and just set the rest of my foundation. So right now it's 11.03. I'm gonna let this set for a little while and then I'll come back and take it off. Okay, so I waited a few minutes so that way it can like bake for a little while and I'm just gonna remove it with this brush. I don't have a lot of coverage with the retouching fluid so I can still see it. Like I can see my under eye like purpliness just a little bit. Um, but it does look really smooth around my nose. It doesn't look dry or anything. Oh, I didn't take off around my my nose but look I didn't even have a lot anymore it like really set with my skin I guess with the warmth of my skin it really set everything I don't have much powder to remove so it does make my my face look pretty smooth I can't say that it looks bad or anything um it doesn't look dry at all around my nose this side looks like like, like I didn't really apply any concealer like I just kind of applied foundation or nothing at all and just applied a powder it doesn't really look like it gave me a lot of coverage with my finger and it also doesn't give a lot of coverage with a powder but the powder is translucent so i mean it wouldn't give any it wouldn't give any coverage at all all i'm gonna do now is the rest of my face and i will see you guys in a little bit uh once i check back in so right now it is 1108 and I will check back in in a few hours. Also, I finished the rest of my face and I want to clean up the bronzer and contouring area. And I'm going to clean up the edges. I just wanted you to see this part because, I mean, I'm going to use this product again. So, um, now I'm just going to take it off. Because most likely this is what I'm going to be using it for. Like, I'm going to be using it for baking and setting and also cleaning up. Now I'll be back. 
Um, it's 11.18, so I had to finish up the rest of my makeup. So I'm back, and I did everything that I had to do right now. It is 6.45. Now it's 6.45, and I've been wearing the two products all day. I mean, with everything else, of course. Another true test is the glasses, because I do wear glasses every day. So if you are someone that wears glasses, we are going to see the way that it looks um, now that I just took them off. I put my brightness down and there's not a lot of sunlight anymore because like i said it's almost seven and my face is a little bit shiny because i did get a little bit oily you can see right there but it's not in a bad way my nose looks great it does not look dry it does not look patchy it doesn't look like my makeup came off or anything i really feel like baking your nose makes a big difference if you are a glasses wearer Look on the sides of my notes. It does not look that bad. It's bad, but it's it's like you can tell. But if you wear glasses, you completely understand what I mean about it not being that bad. Now, everywhere else that I said it, look, my nose does not look dry or like powdery at all. I just feel like it does it does look good. On the sides of my nose, I applied that retouching fluid. The sides of my nose right here, you can see my skin now. Like you can see a little bit of buildup right there. Underneath my eyes, it doesn't look bad and it doesn't look dry. I do have dry skin and it doesn't look bad on my skin. It doesn't look patchy. This one, I did the baking and I did the beauty blender. I blended it out with the beauty blender and it looks the same as this side. This side, I did it with my finger. Out of the two products, I like the powder better. I mean, I do like the way that it set my makeup, the way that it set my nose. And I think it would do a good job if I actually am wearing a concealer that I like because I feel like it's set really nicely, it's not creasy, it doesn't look dry, it doesn't look patchy, nothing like that. Even like on this area where I set it, my makeup still looks good. I also set this area, like I did a little bit of baking on my forehead and it looks really good. I would say I would need retouching on the sides of my nose and I guess on the sides of where I put my glasses. I guess that's not a bad, bad spot to apply it. So I'm going to pat it in just like the directions say. It looks really nice actually. It doesn't look... I mean, I could still see the marks where I have my glasses on. But it doesn't look bad and it actually blended out pretty good. Go ahead and blend out the sides of my nose. I think I applied too much though. Okay. So I don't really like it for the sides of my nose. Look. Just pretend I wanted to uh, retouch over here where I had... No, well, I never applied it over here. So let me pat that out. I was thinking about the powder. Uh, that actually doesn't look bad. So let me apply right here on uh, underneath my eyes. And pat it out. Mm, maybe on camera you can't tell, but in person it does look cakey. Like it looks... Uh, maybe it doesn't look that bad. Maybe I just have to wait a little bit. It actually doesn't look that bad. As for the retouching fluid, it would be pretty personal. Like do you personally retouch your makeup throughout the day? Maybe you would like that product. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're not like super life-changing, like you must have them. The translucent powder did a good job setting my makeup, and it did a good job baking, and it looks really nice like on the sides of my face still. Like, it does a good job setting my foundation, but I do have other powders that do the same thing. So I think it would be mainly like if you want to try out the brand, because it is really fine, it does feel good on your face, and it is really smooth looking. There are a lot of other loose powders that are costs way less than this one so i mean that would be entirely up to you i would say i like the powder more than i do the retouching fluid i don't know how often i will be using that product um but we'll see i will give you guys an update in a makeup update video i know i haven't done one for the last new products that i have but i am going to be putting that video up soon and this one will just be a little bit later once i start using it more i will have an update for you guys and for today's video that is pretty much it so i hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.